Hello and good morning, darlings. Today is the 17th of March. Our English lesson for today is from your Global English Learner's book. Today we are going to learn something new on nouns, countable and non-countable nouns. And also we will learn new past tense verbs. Countable and non-countable nouns. Number one. Morina's breakfast. This morning, Morina was hungry. This was her breakfast. Milk, grapes, bread, eggs, orange juice. We can count grapes and eggs. So we say some grapes, two eggs. We can't count bread, juice or milk. So we say some bread, some juice, some milk, not some milks. At breakfast this morning, what did Morina eat? What did she drink? She ate two eggs, some bread and some grapes. She drank some juice and some milk. What did you eat for breakfast? What did you drink? Look at the word and letters highlighted in red. When it's a countable noun, you add a S to make the noun plural. And you can show a number. Like two, four or some. Example, some grapes. Two eggs. We can't count bread, juice or milk. So we say... Some bread, some juice, some milk. Listen very carefully. We don't say some milks, some breads. Number three. I went to the shop. Player one. I went to the shop and I bought some orange juice. Play two. I went to the shop and I bought some orange juice and six carrots. How many foods can you add to this list? Okay, darlings, I have uploaded a worksheet on countable and non-countable nouns. The first part is to color and the second part is to add countable and non-countable nouns to the list. Complete the worksheet. Now let's move to the next part of the lesson. Recap on past tense. Abel was a wise man who lived in India many years ago. When King Akbar gave him tricky problems to solve, he always found an answer. Read the story. What is the problem in the story? What is Burble's answer? Clever Burble. One day, King Akbar picked uh. up a piece of chalk and drew a line on the floor. Burble, he said to his friend, I want you to make this line shorter, but you mustn't rub out the ends of the line. Burble looked at the line and thought, then he drew a long line under King Akbar's line. Look, said Burble, my line is longer than your line, so your line is shorter. King Akbar laughed. You are right, Burble, he said. You made my line shorter. What a clever answer. Verbs in the story. 
in the story find the words that are the past simple of look think draw laugh make say read the story once again look for the words that are past tense of look the past tense of look is looked think thought draw you laugh laughed make made say said okay darlings now let's do the activity in your activity books countable and non countable nouns page number 58 to 59 i can see and write what i did this morning circle yes if you can sometimes or not yet number 1 find the past simple verb look at the picture and read the verb follow the line to find the past tense of each verb drink drank see saw eat eat say sit number 2 what did you do this morning write your answer use the past tense verbs in activity 1 so you had to look at the words in activity 1 and complete the questions number 1 what did you eat this morning i ate and give your answer what did you drink this morning i drank complete the sentence number 3 what did you see on your way to school this morning i saw number 4 what did you say to your teacher this morning i said good morning let's move to the next page darlings verbal and the king ask the questions use a past tense verb from the word box circle the best answer what are the words given in the word box you've said felt thought all these words are in past tense form now let's answer the questions what did verbal draw you a picture or a line a line so you circle the verb the word line number 2 what did verbal say to the king he said my line is longer than your line so your line is shorter circle the word shorter number 3 what did the king think about bribal's answer he thought bribal was very clever or scared clever circle the word clever number 4 did the king feel cross no he he felt happy the past tense of feel is felt he felt happy the king laughed or cried the king laughed number 4 look again number 4 part 4 you have to do it on your own darling using a ruler which line do you think is longer line a or line b which one do you think so they have drawn line a and line b use a ruler to measure line a and line b what do you find write your answer there so darlings you have to complete the worksheet page 58 at 59 in your activity books and submit before 9 pm today thank you darlings have a nice day